One thing I learned a long time ago, when you're fishing areas like this, we found one stretch, one run that seems to be holding a bunch of fish. Far too often I see anglers and they go and they find that stretch and what do they do? They turn around to go back over it and what do they do? They run right over those fish. If you keep doing that, sooner or later those fish are gonna get spooked. So all you wanna do is just turn wide of your trail and go back over. Don't keep driving over the fish because it becomes even more important when you're out here on a day when there's a bunch of boats out here and then what happens? You start running over them, they start running over them. It's like fish living near the 401. What do they do? They take off. So don't run over your fish. And that's where something like this graph comes in important because I can watch my track. I can see the exact strip I've been running up and down. I can hit it dead on and I don't have to run over them. Perfect spot. Fish on. Flat line. Yep. We're on. Oh yeah, another one. Unbelievable. You get in an area like this. Oh, this feels like another big one, Jimmy. Oh, I can hardly move this fish. I don't want to force him too much. But you get in an area like this, like I said, and key in on those areas. Just like we do all those smallmouth bass shows and all those different shows. You find the fish and you work them. You're gonna troll all day long and you're gonna cover a lot of water, but once you get on top of those fish, pay attention to little things like your graph, get on top of those fish, and you can get them. Oh, he's right up on the surface. He's already up there, Jimmy. Now this is where it comes real important to have a rod that's got a supple tip. Because if you're leaning on that rod too much, I mean, you come out here fishing with flipping sticks and stuff like that, I'll tell you what you're gonna do, you're gonna pull the hooks right out of that fish. He's ready, Jimmy. <laughs> There we go! Another giant, giant walleye! Oh, what a beast! <laughs> oh, there's another giant Bay of Quinney walleye. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Want to talk about a day? Oh, we had to work him today. It wasn't an easy day at the office, but if you work, don't give up. I seen guys at 2 o'clock taking the boat, putting them on the trailer, because the fish just weren't on fire today. But if you work it, you see the results right there. What a beautiful, beautiful beast. Oh, get him back in the water. Oh, get back in there. Oh. oh. You know, when you're out on a lake like this, on day like this, you get cold. And, you know, my hands are freezing right now. And it's really easy to say, I'm gonna head in and have a warm drink. But don't give up when you're on a day like this, because at any moment now, you can catch one of these giant trophy walleyes.